today's bedtime story session. Today, we will be exploring some of the most romantic love stories of all time. As you lie down and get comfortable, let the soothing sound of my whispering voice take you on a journey through these tales of passion and devotion. As you drift off to sleep, let these romantic love stories fill your dreams and inspire your own love story. Good day. For this first story, Drink for Love, it's a romantic tale of two souls finding each other against all odds. Join us as we follow the journey of Jack and Sarah as they navigate through the complexities of life and love. This story is meant for adult listeners and contains descriptive language and themes. So sit back, relax, and let the echoes of love take you on a journey you'll never forget. Let's now dive into story. It was a typical Friday evening, and Jack was on his way home from work. As he walked through the city streets, he couldn't help but feel a sense of loneliness that seemed to be a constant companion. He had spent the last few years of his life focusing on his career, and as a result, he had sacrificed his personal life. Jack had always been a bit of a loner, but as he grew older, he realized that he wanted more out of life. He wanted someone to share his experiences with, someone to laugh and cry with, someone to love. As he made his way home, Jack's thoughts turned to Sarah. They had been friends for years, but Jack had always kept his feelings for her hidden. He had never had the courage to tell her how he truly felt. But today was different, today he was going to take a chance. He picked up his phone and called her. Hey Sarah, it's Jack. How are you? I'm good, Jack. How are you? I'm good. Listen, I was wondering if you wanted to grab a drink with me tonight. Sure, that sounds great. Where do you want to meet? How about the new bar on Main Street? It's supposed to be really nice. That sounds perfect. I'll see you there in an hour. Jack couldn't believe it. He had actually asked her out, and she had said yes. As he hung up the phone, he felt a sense of excitement and nervousness all at once. He quickly got ready and headed out to the bar when he arrived. Sarah was already there, sitting at a table near the back. She looked as beautiful as ever, and Jack felt his heart skip a beat as he walked towards her. Hey, Sarah. You look great, he said as he sat down across from her. Thanks, Jack. So do you, she replied with a smile. They spent the next few hours talking and laughing, and as the night went on, Jack realized that this was the woman he had been looking for all his life. He knew that he had to tell her how he felt, but he didn't want to ruin the moment. As they finished their drinks and said their goodbyes, Jack knew that he had to take a chance. Sarah, wait. There's something I need to tell you, he said, taking her hand in his. What is it, Jack? She asked, looking into his eyes. I love you, Sarah. I've loved you for a long time, and I know that I can't spend another day without you in my life. Sarah's eyes widened in surprise, and for a moment, she didn't say anything. But then she smiled and leaned in, pressing her lips to his. I love you too, Jack, she whispered. From that moment on, Jack and Sarah were inseparable. They spent every moment they could together, exploring the city and building a life together. They knew that they had found the one they had been. The end. As one love story comes to an end, another begins. Let's dive into the next chapter of romance. For the second romantic story, Echoes of the Past is a love story that will take you on an emotional journey through the countryside and into the hearts of two people who are meant to be together. It is a story of love and loss, of hope and despair, and of the power of the human heart to overcome the most impossible of odds. Let's now dive into story. The story begins in a small town where two young lovers, Emma and Jack, are living their lives as carefree and happy as any young couple can be. They were high school sweethearts who fell in love at first sight, and they knew that they were meant to be together forever. They spent their days exploring the countryside and their nights talking about their dreams and aspirations. But their idyllic life together was abruptly interrupted when Jack was killed in a tragic accident. Emma was devastated by the loss of her true love, and she retreated into herself, shutting out the world and allowing her grief to consume her. She spent the next few years alone, consumed by her own pain and loneliness. But fate had other plans for Emma. Years later, she received a letter in the mail that would change her life forever. It was from Jack, and it contained a message that she never thought she would hear. He was alive, and he wanted to see her again. Emma was overjoyed at the news, but at the same time, she was filled with confusion and doubt. How could Jack be alive? How could he have been gone for so long and then just reappear like nothing had happened? She knew that she had to see him, to find out the truth and to finally have closure on the love story that had consumed her for so long. She set out for the small town where Jack was living, and as she made her way through the countryside, she was filled with a sense of deja vu. 
It was as if the past was coming back to her, and she felt as though she was reliving the moments that she had shared with Jack. When she finally arrived in the small town, she was filled with a sense of anticipation and nervousness. She was about to see the man that she had loved for so long, and she didn't know what to expect. But as she saw him standing there, waiting for her, she knew that everything was going to be okay. They spent the next few days together, reconnecting and reminiscing about their past. Emma was filled with a sense of longing and desire, and she realized that she still loved Jack with all of her heart. But she also knew that there were secrets that needed to be revealed, and she was determined to find out the truth. She eventually found out that Jack was in a terrible accident and was in a coma for years. He had no memory of the past, and when he woke up, he was told that Emma had moved on with her life. So he wrote her letter and hoped for the best. Emma was shocked and heartbroken by the revelation, but she knew that she could not let it tear them apart again. They both had suffered so much, and they deserved to be happy together. They decided to start over, and they built a new life together. The end. Love knows no bounds as we transition from one heartwarming tale to the next. For the third story, the garden is a tale of two souls who were destined to be together, but fate had other plans. It is a story of love, loss, and the power of memories. Join us as we journey through the ups and downs of a love that was meant to be, but was almost lost. Let's now dive into story. It was a warm summer evening when they first met. Emily had just moved to the small town of Willow Creek and was out for a walk when she stumbled upon a beautiful garden. As she walked among the flowers, she saw him. He was sitting on a bench, lost in thought. He looked up and their eyes met. It was love at first sight. His name was Jack, and he was a local artist. He had been living in Willow Creek for most of his life and was known for his beautiful paintings of the town and its surroundings. Emily was immediately drawn to his kind eyes and gentle smile. They started talking and soon discovered that they had a lot in common. They both loved art and nature, and they both had a passion for travel. They spent the whole evening together, talking and laughing, and before they knew it, the sun was setting. As the days turned into weeks, they spent every moment they could together. They explored the town, went on long walks in the countryside, and visited art galleries and museums. They were inseparable, and it was clear to everyone that they were in love. But Faye had other plans. One day, while they were on a trip to Paris, Jack was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of cancer. Despite the best efforts of the doctors, his condition quickly worsened. Emily stayed by his side throughout his treatment, never leaving his side for a moment. Jack's health rapidly declined, and it became clear that he wouldn't make it. Emily was heartbroken, but she refused to give up hope. She stayed by his side, holding his hand and whispering words of love and encouragement. On the day of his passing, Jack opened his eyes and looked into Emily's. He smiled and whispered, I will always love you. And with those words, he closed his eyes for the last time. Emily was inconsolable. She couldn't believe that the love of her life was gone. She felt lost and alone. But as she walked through the garden where they had first met, she began to hear a strange sound. It was like a distant echo, and it seemed to be getting louder. As she listened more closely, she realized that it was Jack's voice. He was singing a song that they had heard together on their first date. It was a song about love and memories, and it was as if he was singing it just for her. Emily smiled and closed her eyes, letting the song wash over her. She knew that Jack was still with her, in her heart and in her memories. And she knew that as long as she held onto those memories, their love would never truly die. From that day on, Emily would often visit the garden where they had first met and listen to the echoes of Jack's voice. And though he was no longer with her, she knew that his love would always be with her, guiding and comforting her. The end. The journey of love is never ending. Next up, another beautiful story of two souls finding each other. For the fourth story, Surviving Love, a post-apocalyptic love story in a world ravaged by a catastrophic event, two survivors find solace and love in each other amidst the chaos and destruction. Follow the journey of Sarah and Michael as they navigate the harsh realities of a post-apocalyptic world and discover the true meaning of survival and love. Let's now dive into story, the world as Sarah and Michael knew it had come to an end. A catastrophic event had wiped out most of humanity and left the planet in ruins. The few survivors were left to scavenge for food and shelter in a barren wasteland. They had lost everything and everyone they had ever loved, and they had resigned themselves to living out their lives alone. Sarah and Michael had never met before the disaster. They were both wandering the ruins of the city, searching for any sign of life. When they stumbled upon each other, they were both surprised to find another person alive. 
they quickly realized that they needed to stick together if they wanted to survive. As they traveled together, they began to learn more about each other. Sarah was a doctor, and she used her knowledge to help the sick and injured. Michael was a skilled hunter, and he used his skills to provide food for them both. They were both fiercely independent and had never relied on anyone else before, but they soon realized that they needed each other. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, Sarah and Michael grew closer. They found comfort in each other's company and began to rely on each other for survival. They were both still haunted by their pasts and the things they had lost, but they found solace in each other. The two of them began to build a life together. They found an abandoned house and made it their home. They scavenged for food and supplies, and they slowly began to rebuild their lives. They were both determined to survive, and they were both determined to make the best of the situation. As the months turned into years, Sarah and Michael fell in love. They had never expected to find love in such a harsh and unforgiving world, but they were grateful for it. They knew that their love was the only thing that kept them going, and they were determined to make it last. They spent their days exploring the ruins of the city, looking for anything that might be useful. They also spent their time rebuilding their home and making it a place where they could live a comfortable life. They were both determined to make the best of the situation, and they were both determined to survive. Years passed, and Sarah and Michael grew old together. They had lived through unimaginable hardships, but they had also known the joy of love. They had built a life together and had found happiness in the midst of the chaos and destruction. They knew that they were lucky to have found each other, and they were grateful for the time they had together. In the end, they both knew that they had survived the end of the world because they had each other. They had survived the apocalypse, and they had survived love. They had found a way to make a life together in a world that had been torn apart, and they were grateful for every moment of it. The end of the world had come, but Sarah and Michael had found a way to survive it together. They had found love in the most unlikely of places, and they had made it last. They were a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope. The end. Just when you think you've heard it all, another love story unfolds. Get ready for a new tale of passion and devotion. For the fifth story, Hacking Love, the story of an anti-hero and his fan, this is a story of love, passion, and the blurred lines between right and wrong. Follow the story of our protagonist, an infamous hacker known only by his handle the ghost and his journey to redemption as he falls for a young woman who idolizes his work. Will love be enough to change his ways, or will his past come back to haunt him? Sit back, relax, and let's begin. Let's now dive into story. The story starts with the protagonist, the ghost, sitting alone in his dimly lit apartment. He is a notorious hacker, known for his ability to infiltrate the most secure of systems and steal sensitive information. He had always been drawn to the thrill of the hack, the rush of outsmarting the best minds in the industry. But as the years went by, he started to feel the weight of his actions. He couldn't shake the feeling that he was doing something wrong, but he couldn't stop. He was addicted to the rush. One day, as he was scrolling through his social media feeds, he came across a post from a young woman named Ava. She was a computer science student and a self-proclaimed fan of his work. She admired his ability to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of what was possible. The ghost was intrigued by her perspective and they began to talk online. As they talked more, the ghost found himself drawn to Ava's intelligence and passion for technology. She saw the world in a way he had never considered before. She saw the potential for good in his actions, and it made him question his own motives. He had always felt like an outsider, like no one truly understood him, but Ava did. She understood his need to question authority and push against the status quo. Their online conversations soon turned into phone calls, and then video chats. The ghost found himself looking forward to their conversations more and more. He realized that he was falling for Ava and he wanted to meet her in person. They agreed to meet at a coffee shop in the city. When they finally met in person, there was an immediate spark between them. They talked for hours, laughing and sharing stories. As they parted ways, the ghost knew that he had found something special in Ava. He couldn't shake the feeling that she was the one for him. As their relationship deepened, the ghost started to question his life as a hacker. He had always justified his actions as a way to fight against corrupt systems and powerful institutions, but now he saw that his actions were hurting innocent people. He didn't want to be the person Ava thought he was. He wanted to be a better person for her. The ghost knew that he had to come clean to Ava about his past, and he was terrified of her reaction. He didn't know if she would be able to forgive him for the things he had done. But when he finally told her, she didn't judge him. 
She saw the man he was trying to be, and she loved him for it. With Ava's love and support, the ghost was able to put his past behind him and start a new life. He used his skills for good, using his hacking knowledge to help the underprivileged and those in need. He had found love and redemption in Ava, and he was a better person for it. The story ends with the ghost and Ava sitting together on a park bench, watching the sunset. They were happy and in love, and they knew. The end. We're not yet done, though. Get ready for the next tale of passion and pure love for this session. For the sixth story, Undercover Love, it's a romantic story about a CIA operative and his unknowing social media star girlfriend. Join us as we follow the journey of two people from different worlds, brought together by fate and a love so strong it can overcome even the most dangerous of secrets. This story is meant for adult listeners and is filled with descriptive details and intense emotions. Are you ready to dive into the world of espionage and romance? Let's begin. As a CIA operative, Jack had always known that his job would come with its fair share of dangers and secrets. But he never imagined that his next mission would lead him to the love of his life. It all started when Jack was assigned to infiltrate the inner circle of a notorious international arms dealer. In order to do so, he needed to create a cover that would allow him to blend in with the social elite. And that's when he stumbled upon the perfect disguise a popular social media influencer named Claire. Claire was a young woman who had made a name for herself on the internet by posting videos of her daily life and adventures. She had a large following and was known for her bubbly personality and carefree spirit. Jack knew that by posing as a wealthy businessman who was interested in her, he would be able to gain access to the circles he needed to infiltrate as he began to interact with Claire online. Jack found himself growing increasingly drawn to her. She was smart, funny, and had a contagious energy that he couldn't help but be drawn to. But as he got to know her better, he also realized that she was completely unaware of the dangerous world he inhabited. And that was when he knew that he had to keep his true identity a secret at all costs as Jack and Claire's online relationship began to blossom. Jack knew that he had to tread carefully. He couldn't let his guard down for a second, knowing that a single slip-up could put both of their lives in danger. But as he continued to spend time with Claire, he couldn't help but feel a deep connection growing between them. He knew that he was falling in love with her, but he also knew that he couldn't let her know the truth as their relationship continued to grow. Jack knew that he had to make a decision. He couldn't keep living a double life forever. He had to choose between his duty to his country and the love of his life. But as he struggled with this decision, he realized that he didn't have to choose. He could have it all. With the help of his CIA colleagues, Jack was able to bring down the arms dealer and put an end to his dangerous activities. But more importantly, he was able to reveal the truth to Claire and tell her how he truly felt. When Claire heard the truth, she was shocked and hurt that Jack had kept such a huge secret from her. But as she looked into his eyes, she saw the love and remorse that was there. And she knew that she couldn't stay angry with him for long. With the mission over and their love stronger than ever, Jack and Claire decided to start a new life together. The end, hang on. We're still not yet through. Get ready for the last tale of unswerving love and passion. For the last story, last moments of love, it's a heart-wrenching tale of a dying man's final days and the woman he loves. As the clock ticks down on his life, he must come to terms with his mortality and the thought of leaving his girlfriend behind. But even as death looms, the power of their love shines through, illuminating their darkest moments and bringing them closer together than ever before. This is a story of love, loss, and the unbreakable bond that connects us all. Let's now dive into story. Mark sat in his hospital bed, staring out the window at the gray sky. He knew he didn't have much time left. The cancer that had been ravaging his body for the past year had finally caught up with him, and the doctors had given him just a few days to live. He closed his eyes and took a deep breath, trying to steady his racing heart. He knew he needed to be strong for his girlfriend, Sarah. Sarah had been by his side throughout his entire ordeal. She had held his hand during chemotherapy, wiped away his tears during the dark nights when the pain had been too much to bear, and always been there to offer a comforting word or a smile. She was the love of his life, and he couldn't bear the thought of leaving her behind. He heard the door open and turned to see Sarah walking in, her eyes red from crying. She forced a smile and sat down on the bed beside him, taking his hand in hers. Hey, she said softly. Hey, he replied, his voice barely a whisper. They sat in silence for a few moments, both lost in their own thoughts. Mark knew he needed to say something to tell her how much he loved her and how much she meant to him. But the words stuck in his throat, and he couldn't bring himself to speak. Finally, Sarah broke the silence. I'm so sorry, she said, her voice 
voice cracking. I know this is all my fault. Mark looked at her in confusion. What are you talking about? If I hadn't pushed you to go to the doctor, if I hadn't been so insistent that something was wrong, you might still be healthy, she said, her voice trembling. Mark shook his head. No, Sarah, it's not your fault. You saved my life by making me go to the doctor. You gave me the chance to fight this, and for that I'll always be grateful. Sarah looked at him with tears in her eyes. But now you're leaving me, she said, her voice barely a whisper. Mark took her hand in his and looked into her eyes. I'll never really leave you, Sarah. I'll always be with you in your heart and in your memories. And I know that you'll go on and live a happy life because you're strong and you deserve it. Sarah nodded, trying to hold back her tears. I love you, Mark, she said. I love you too, Sarah, Mark replied. They sat in silence for a while longer, holding each other close. Mark knew that this would be one of their last precious moments together and he wanted to hold onto it as long as he could. He closed his eyes, feeling Sarah's warmth beside him and the steady beating of her heart. It was a moment of pure love and he knew that it would stay with him forever, even after he was gone. As the days passed, Mark's condition worsened, but his love for Sarah. The end. That ends our storytelling of tales of love for today. Thank you for sticking with me. I narrated these romantic love stories that fill your dreams and inspire your own love story. If you want us to continue making more relaxing, ambient sounds for you to listen to, do please support this channel by subscribing, clicking the like button, and hitting the notification bell. Our gratitude is yours and stay frosty all the time.